Did you know that one of the most famous all-wheel drive systems in the world, Quattro, wasn't originally put into an Audi? In fact, its first application was in a military vehicle. To understand the birth of Quattro, let's rewind to the late 1970s. Audi was already known for engineering excellence, and during this era, the automotive industry was buzzing with innovations. However, all-wheel drive systems were still primarily used in off-road and utility vehicles, not regular passenger cars. Audi saw a unique opportunity to develop an all-wheel drive system that would enhance traction, handling, and performance, especially in challenging weather conditions. The idea for Quattro was sparked by Jörg Bensinger, an Audi engineer inspired by the off-road capabilities of military vehicles. Benzinger and his team aimed to create a system that distributed power to all four wheels, providing superior control and stability. The term Quattro is Italian for four, symbolizing the four-wheel drive system at the heart of this technology. Quite simple, yet now it's a very sought-after word in Audi's lineup. Their efforts led to the development of a revolutionary system with a center differential and advanced traction control mechanisms. This Quattro system was not only effective, but also lightweight and efficient. Here's where it gets interesting. The first vehicle to feature Quattro technology was actually the Volkswagen Iltis, a military vehicle. Volkswagen, Audi's parent company, needed a robust all-wheel drive system for their off-road vehicle, and Audi's Quattro fit the bill perfectly. The Iltis served as a real-world testing ground for Quattro, allowing engineers to refine and perfect the system. This collaboration was crucial for ensuring Quattro's reliability and effectiveness. With the success of the Iltis, it was time for Quattro to make its debut in consumer cars. In 1980, Audi introduced the Quattro system in their vehicles, starting with the well-known Audi Quattro Coupe. Also known as the Ur Quattro, the Quattro Coupe was an immediate success. It featured a turbocharged engine combined with the Quattro system, delivering crazy performance and handling. This car didn't just perform well on the roads, it dominated rally racing, showcasing Quattro's capabilities in extreme conditions. The reception of the Audi Quattro Coupe was overwhelmingly positive. Car enthusiasts and critics alike praised its innovative technology and performance. The Quattro system became a key selling point, distinguishing Audi from its competitors. The Audi Quattro made its debut in the World Rally Championship in 1981, and it quickly became a game-changer. Its all-wheel drive system provided a significant advantage over the traditional rear-wheel drive cars, especially on loose and slippery surfaces. The Quattro's dominance was immediate and overwhelming. In its first full season, the Audi Quattro won several rallies, demonstrating its superior traction and handling. By 1982, Audi secured the Manufacturer's Championship, and in 1983, driver Hanu Mikola won the Drivers' Championship. The Quattro's performance was so outstanding that it forced other manufacturers to develop their own all-wheel drive systems to remain competitive. Drivers like Hanu Mikola and Michelle Mouton, the first woman to win a World Rally Championship event, praised the Quattro's capabilities. Very, very nice to know what we did uh, that time and how it developed, you know. We were just the beginners of the four-wheel drive cars, so it's a good feeling. The Quattro's success in rallying not only brought Audi international acclaim, but also proved the effectiveness of all-wheel drive systems in motorsports. This success helped Audi refine and enhance Quattro technology, leading to improvements that would benefit their consumer vehicles. The integration of Quattro technology helped Audi build a reputation for one of the best handling in the industry, starting with models like the Audi 80 that was upgraded with Quattro in 83 and the C3 generation of the 100. However, like with every new technology, the system wasn't without its early problems. The initial versions of the Audi Quattro Coupe faced issues with the complexity of the system, which made it difficult and obviously expensive to repair. The advanced technology also required a level of precision in manufacturing that wasn't always met, leading to reliability issues. Owners reported problems such as transmission failures and differential issues. Additionally, the weight distribution of the vehicle, influenced by the all-wheel drive system, sometimes resulted in handling quirks that drivers had to adapt to. Facing these initial problems, Audi engineers were determined to refine and perfect the Quattro system. Audi invested in advanced manufacturing technologies and stricter quality control to ensure the system's durability. 
For the complexity and repair costs, Audi simplified the design of the Quattro system where possible and provided extensive training to their service network. This made maintenance more straightforward and reduced costs for owners. A significant breakthrough was the introduction of the Torsen, a torque sensing differential in the mid-1980s. This innovation improved the distribution of torque between the front and rear wheels, enhancing stability and handling. The Torsen differential automatically adjusted torque distribution based on traction conditions, providing better performance in various driving situations. Audi also worked on optimizing the weight distribution of their vehicles to improve handling. By making structural changes and using lighter materials, they were able to balance the weight more effectively, reducing the handling quirks the early Quattro models experienced. Even despite all these fairly problematic challenges, the Audi Quattro Coupe was praised for its innovative technology and performance. Car enthusiasts and critics recognized its potential and appreciated the driving experience it offered, even if it came with a few bumps along the way. Today, Quattro remains a cornerstone of Audi's identity, influencing the design and performance of their entire lineup. Its impact extends beyond Audi, inspiring advancements in all-wheel drive technology across the automotive industry for years to come.